Tales of the Norio has been out for a couple of weeks now and I think everyone has sort of formed their own opinions and feelings about the game. This game being under heavy spotlight during its release phase garnering massive amounts of attention, everyone thought they were getting a genre defining creature catching game. Whether the spotlight was warranted or not, you can't deny that players had high hopes for this game and that did not pan out very well. You see, when you hype up a game a lot by constantly making remarks at another creature catcher game on Roblox during Tales of Tenorio's launch period and then proceed to do the exact same thing with Tales of Tenorio, players rightfully get irritated. Let's look past that for now as I'm here to describe my personal experience playing the game so buckle up and I hope you enjoy. Disclaimer, I do not intend any hate uh, because you know, don't hate me, I'm stuttering here but yeah, please don't hate me, please. <laughs> Anyway, let's begin! Creatures are a defining aspect of the game. After all, it's called a creature catching game. What I look for in a cast of creatures are a mix of goofy, cool, cute, and sometimes weird looking creatures. Tales of Tenorio excels in this aspect as they have a variety of creatures that embody the aforementioned criteria. Blimper is extremely goofy, Fordrake is really cool, the starters are extremely cute, and Arboric is weird but in a good way. The Tenorians add so much depth and personality to the game and is a big part of why the game is so replayable. Even the shinies are well designed, my personal favorites including Just Spirit and Watts. Overall, I would give the creatures a 10 out of 10. Storyline is a pivotal thing for creature catching games as the largest amount of the player base only really play for the story. When you think of a great story, you think of Pokemon Black and White, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, or even fan games like Pokemon Insurgents. Tales of Tenorio haven't really had the opportunity to build their story yet, so I can only really judge from what I can see. Voice acting helps in portraying a story, and the voice acting done in this game was good. Holy climate, I'm on a bike! What the heck? I wasn't mind blown, but then again, I don't really associate voices to a Roblox character. Other than that, I don't really think much of the story. As of now, there are two gyms, and the story major events that happen in Arxworth and Pontero Pasture are, well, odd. We meet a robber that stole a valuable item from a museum, and an hour later, he stands up to his family and becomes our friend? There is a little disconnect here. I'm all for characters that get to redeem themselves, but this was plain underwhelming. 6 out of 10, subject to change after future updates. Bugs are always going to be a part of games, but whatever mess Tales of Tenoria released as was simply unacceptable. Context here is crucial because the game was initially supposed to come out last year, which did not come to fruition because the devs were not ready. That sucks, but if the devs need more time, they should take more time because releasing the game in min quality is what everyone wants. This year, they had a release date which hyped everyone that was waiting to play the game. I had exams to study for, but I purposefully did more studying so I could make time for when the game was released. You can imagine how infuriated I was when the game delayed on release hour. This was because the devs had discovered a major bug which they had to fix. Then we had a second release date which was also not kept, but this time it was a much more serious situation as the lead dev had been hospitalized, so obviously the game can't release. This is a rather serious and delicate situation because someone's health is a lot more important than a game's release, so let's not dwell on that too soon. At this point, the dev team realized they should probably wait to fix whatever is plaguing the game and then announce a release date. Luckily for Lucky HD's hair, this release date was upheld and we got to play Tales of Tenorio. So surely bugs aren't going to be prominent. Yeah, oh fuck no. I recall falling off the map numerous times, being kicked out of the raids mid-battle, the battle UI being glitched causing me to fail my first ever shiny, and the outrageous Pontero Pasture incident. These glaring issues really makes it difficult to immerse myself in the game. Most importantly, whether the devs like it or not, this will forever be the first impression of Tales of Tenorio. 1 out of 10. Last but not least, I want to talk about the communication between players and the devs. This is a more interesting topic. I am extremely grateful for the devs taking the time to talk about the game's progress, the bug fixes and patches, and it feels really comforting to know that the game is being improved on every day. However, 
is it really a good thing? The more that I think about it, just how many people really care about reading what bugs were fixed, or reading about game progression when they can't even play it. Also remember the first release day this year? When the game delayed, the devs told us to wait an hour, then a few more hours, then retweeted people who told us to chill out because it was only a couple of hours, then backtracking, then apologizing, then <laughs> it was just a huge mess. So is communication like that what you really want? I don't know about this, I'll still give a 7 out of 10 for communication, but a low 7. Music was great. I don't know how to describe music, but you know, going through the routes and listening to the music made it seem much more lively. So I will give it a 10 out of 10. I'll make a bunch of new friends. Adventure that never ends. Let's write a brand new story. Line. Okay, I'll take that back. 9 out of 10. That about covers the review of Tales of Tenorio based on my experience and please do remember that this is just my opinion and whether you agree with it or not is entirely up to you. My overall grading for this game is gonna be a 6 out of 10. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the review, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, it would really mean a lot. And as always, see ya, bye.